welcome to Auto News TV Compact. All the important facts from the automotive world. The Porsche Cayman enters its second generation. Three years after its initial debut, this sports car is even more powerful and elegant than ever. Both the Cayman and the Cayman S hit the roads with completely newly developed six-cylinder boxer engines. Less weight and less inner friction lead to enhanced performance and better fuel efficiency. Top speed for the Cayman S is 277 kilometers per hour. With the new generation of the Cayman, we are introducing a whole host of technical innovations. The new specially designed engines in the base car with an output of 265 horsepower and the Cayman S 320. In addition, we have a new 7-speed Porsche dual-clutch transmission, PDK for short, giving you a shift in gears without any interruption in pulling power. The combination of the gearbox and newly developed engines allows us to conserve between 12 and 16 percent on fuel consumption. Along with its engine, its equally impressive athletic design also underlines the power of this Porsche. A long wheelbase and accentuated curves lend the Cayman dynamics and stability. The Cayman S comes with new 18-inch wheels with a turbine-shaped five-spoke design. The halogen lights remind us of the Carrera GT. Beneath them we find the rod-shaped LED side lights and circular fog lights. Both front and back you can recognize the new Cayman models by their modified lights. At the rear, for instance, all the red lights and the tail lights that taper outwards now shine with LED technology. The two storage compartments in the Cayman hold up to 410 liters of cargo. All of the standard steering wheels on the new models are clad in smooth leather. There's also new styling for the center console, now in an elegant black shade. The upscale sport seats also contribute to the unique driving feeling of the Cayman. Emotion and technical perfection, that's what Porsche is all about. In 4.9 seconds from 0 to 100, take off like in a race car with launch control. Depress the brake, floor the gas pedal, the engine is set to 6500 RPM. Lift your foot off the brake and the car accelerates to its max. The Cayman appears in three new colors, Riviera Blue, U.S. Orange and Signal Green. That means all the Cayman fans will have to be patient until February and continue dreaming about getting behind the wheel. As soon as the mid-engine sports car pops up on the horizon, its second generation will certainly also be a big success. The new Toyota Avensis is here. For more than 10 years, the Japanese have been selling their mid-range model in Europe. Now it's time for the third generation. A lot has changed, especially in the engine compartment. Toyota Optimal Drive refers to a bunch of modifications to the engine, helping to reduce fuel consumption by up to 25%. In some instances, Toyota has even managed to up the power at the same time. The new Valve-Matic technology, for instance, adapts the valve lift volume and control times continuously in sync with the driving situation. While Toyota opens up new markets with other models, the Avensis remains the flagship in Europe. Although Toyota's flagship, the Avensis is no exclusive model meant only for our society's elite. It's more of an upscale car for daily use by a broad client base. That's also reflected in its entry-level price of under 23,000 euros. 
whether as notchback sedan or station wagon, the Avensis is practical, spacious, good looking, and comes with a comprehensive standard package. Toyota's design concept called Vibrant Clarity forms the basis for the look of the new Avensis. Dynamic lines interspersed with free geometric shapes, arousing sympathy and satisfaction without boring the beholder over time. A characteristic silhouette with wide outstretched body pillars makes the Avensis look bigger than the former model, and in reality, its outer dimensions are nearly the same. A little roof spoiler at the back gives the station wagon a sporty touch. All in all, the car does not look cheap. We could really classify this one as a premium car. Premium as well as practical. That's what the Avensis proves to be inside too with its flexible loading bay. Storage compartments in the floor, above that 543 liters, with the seats folded down even 1609 liters. The engines range from 132 to 152 horsepower for the gasoline versions. Their diesel counterparts do between 126 and 177 horsepower. The interior is very spacious. Materials and controls are upscale and well arranged. The Avensis is tops in its class in terms of safety with seven airbags part of the standard package. What's more, you get active headrests, ESP and ASR. The Avensis is not only made for, but also in Europe. Even though Toyota is a Japanese company, the Avensis was designed in France, developed in Belgium, and built in Great Britain. It hails from Japan and has been extremely successful for five years already. The Mazda 3. It sold over 1.8 million times and now it's time for the next generation with completely new development while sharing the virtues of its predecessor a great car for the money it's sporty and flexible with a great option package and an appealing design at Mazda they pay more than the usual amount of attention to this series and for a good reason the new Mazda 3 like the former model will be offered as a five-door hatchback as well as a four-door sedan Mazda hopes to appeal to a broad spectrum of buyers with both of these body variants. The four-door traditionally targets the more conservative crowd, while the hatchback, from a visual standpoint alone, appeals to sportier tastes. Taut lines mark the front, tapering lamps flow into the large grille, which opens up wide and low. Striking curves lend the side view a very defined character. The wide tail end looks full, yet not bloated. Still, success cannot be achieved without good engines. With the Mazda 3, they are especially tailored to the European market. That means with the latest trends in conserving fuel. The little 1.6 liter, 105 horsepower engine, for example, only requires 6.3 liters of premium fuel to cover 100 kilometers. 0.6 less than the former model. The stronger gasoline version with its 150 horsepower and already familiar from the Mazda 6 is the new 2.2 liter turbo diesel and is also available with 185 horsepower. One thing all engines have in common, they really give you a sporty drive, just what many young drivers seek nowadays. High expectations for the Mazda 3 to fulfill at a time when car sales are stagnating all over the world. One thing's for sure, the newly developed Mazda 3 definitely has the potential to please the masses even more than the former model and also to win over customers from other brands.